up there. It looks like a pyramid. And this is a Russian settlement on the Norwegian island of Svalbard. And it was built during the Soviet times. It's kind of a model society to show. Russians have held on to this territory and other settlements here on Svalbard because of geopolitics. So, today I'm going to take you along to see what Pyramiden, the Russian ghost town, still Russian territory ish on Svalbard looks like. excavated from the mine and the mine itself you can see already see very well you can see it uh, on the top uh, it's on the height of 500 meters as So walking inside Pyramiden is a bit of a apocalyptic feeling. Uh, complete ghost town. No people here. The guy just told me it's uh, 17 people in total living here now. Russian citizens. This building behind me from 1959 is the canteen where the um, workers of the coal mine used to eat. The building back there for single men and the building over there was for the single women to live. So some good old stories from uh, the Soviet times here in Pyramida coming up. champagne and wine because this kind of alcohol is unlimited here you know that we have this kind of law that only one liter of strong alcohol per month and uh, 24 um, cans of beer uh, but it's not like this anymore but still i invite you to the second floor <laughs> and so this is inside the canteen which was like the culture center and where people would gather and hang out lots of soviet bling bling it's Fantastic to see, like this mosaic on the back, impressive.
Regent Street, Champs Elysees of Pyramiden, and the Crown Jewel behind me is the Lenin statue and a bathhouse. Let's check that out. And behind me is the northernmost Lenin statue in the whole world, in the whole world, left here in Pyramiden. This is the sports complex and then the swimming hall I was speaking about before is over there, named after Yuri Gagarin, a famous cosmonaut. Let's check it out. center in Pyramid and they're still playing Russian music or Soviet music and uh, on the walls there are different uh, uh, old uh, Soviet uh, signs. This is really like traveling in a time machine back 40 years. <laughs> Не пойте больше песен с головы So it's really unique visit here is inside the, the sports hall in the culture house and just Soviet leftovers like the hand with the um, with the torch 
and different uh, Soviet banners still laying around. So fantastic to see this with your own eyes. Even old volleyballs laying around. So the visit in Pyramiden is coming to an end, but I would say this is by far the most interesting visits I've had when it comes to Cold War and Soviet memorabilia in a long, long, long time. Definitely can recommend a visit to Pyramiden. Super interesting.